How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about five more string methods that you can use in Rust. So previously I made a video on strings and I covered some basic methods such as length and uh, pushing a string or you know contain. So now I want to make a video just on five more methods that are useful and everyone should know. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to first talk about the replace method. And I'm going to I'm I'm going to put all these different um, concepts in their own separate code block. So we'll put down a curly brace here and put everything for a place inside um, this block right here. Let's define a string called my string. We can use the string from uh, function and just pass in something like Rust is fantastic. Alright, so now with the replace method you're able to replace um, a string of characters in that string with something else. So we can change fantastic to great using replace. So down here we can say print line and just say after replace. Now for the template here we'll just put down my string dot replace and it takes two parameters the first one being the old string and the second being the new string to replace it with. So we're going to replace fantastic with great. All right. Let's run this and see how we go. Cargo run, press enter, and we get after replace, Rust is great. Perfect. That's all there is to the, to the replace method. We can now talk about um, the lines method. So once again, we'll make a new uh, comment and code block here. Now lines will basically just split up your string into uh, an iterator for each line in your string. So I'll just write an example. So we can say let my string once again equals string from and put a string with lines inside it. So we can say the weather is then a new line character, nice, one more new line and then outside mate. So we have three uh, new line, sorry, we have we have three lines in this string and we're going to use the lines method to get an iterator over those lines. So, down here we can use a for loop, we can say for line in my string dot lines. Now every line will be, uh, you know, known as the line uh, variable, so we can say print line. Now we're going to just wrap each line in a square bracket and put some space for padding. So we can pass in the line just like that. So now we can uh, run this program. And we see um, each line printed out with the brackets on each side uh, showing that we've actually separated you know, each line into its own separate thing. Alright, so next we have the the split method. So split allows you to split a string, hence the name, um, by a certain character. Uh, what do you call it? Delimiter. So we can say, let my string, and once again, just to find a new string. Now this string will be something like leave plus a plus like and then so on, if you enjoyed. So as we can see, we're, we're separating each space, sorry, each word with a, a plus instead of a space. Now we're going to use the split method to split up that uh, string by the plus uh, character. So we can define a new variable called tokens. This will be a vector of string slices. And this tokens uh, vector will contain each individual, uh, you know, string or or word in that string. So we can say equals my string dot split. This is the split method. And we're going to pass in the plus right in there. So we're splitting by the plus character. Now this split method returns an iterator. We want a vector. So we can call the dot collect method on that to convert it to a vector of string slices. So now what we can do is just say access uh, this vector at index 2. So we'll say print line 
at index 2 and then pass in tokens at index 2 and we can also just print line um, the actual string itself so we'll pass in my string just like that so now we should see like on the screen we can try running this one and we get like um, at index 2 there we are so now we're going to talk about the trim method so trim is you know quite a quick one quite easy um, it's just going to basically just trim your string of any white space or yeah any white space so we can once again define that string my string equal to string from this string will be a bunch of spaces and then my name is Dominic a few more spaces a line break and a carriage return there's a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of junk white space around this string. We're going to just print this string out before the trim. Before the trim. We'll pass in my string into there. We're going to do the same thing, printing it out after we have trimmed it. So my string dot trim. There we are. We can run this program, see how we go. And we can see. Before the shim, we get a bunch of white space and a new line character right in there. And after the shim, we get a nice, clean, uh, clean cut string. All right. So now we're going to talk about the cars or the the characters method on the string. Now this is going to be about accessing um, the string at an index, trying to get the character. So once again, we'll define a string. Um, we'll just make this string decode on YouTube. Now, in other languages, we can just say my string four. Now, this right there will access the character at index four. So you expect this right here to give you e. So zero, one, two, three, four e. In Rust, it's a bit complicated, but it's for a good reason. So what we're going to do to achieve this same result is we're going to use the match um, operator. So we're just going to say get character at index and we're going to type out match. Then the my string variable dot cars. Now the dot cars method returns an iterator for your characters. So with this you can also just even use a for loop like similar to uh, this right here with lines. You can just say for character in my string dot cars it'll work the same way um, but right now we're going to skip that part we're just going to say dot cars right and then we're going to call the nth so what do you call this one the the nth or the the nth method on that one and pass in the index for so this right here basically just returns you that character at index four however it returns you uh, an option so what's going to happen is you can either find that character at index 4 or you can't find it and you have to deal with both scenarios so if you could find it at index 4 we're going to say sum and then have c inside there and that c will be the actual character which you can now use so we're just going to say uh, if that's the case we want to print line character at index 4 and then just print that one just like that so we have, you know, the character inserted right there. Now, if we couldn't find the character at index four, we're just going to say print line, no character at index four. Now, once again, we'll also just print out the string, just so we can see uh, the whole string itself. Print out my string just up there. We can save this one and run the program. Hopefully, we get the character at index four. Alrighty, okay, so I need to get rid of this um, semicolon. We'll save that one, try it again. Alright, so character at index 4, E. Perfect. Now, the reason for this is because just say your string is two characters long, right? Index 4 doesn't exist. So now, if we save this one and try running this program, we should see no character at index 4 as the output. So we see that right there. 
And that is all I have for this video. Um, yeah, as I said, five methods on strings or five different concepts on strings that are useful. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.